Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ebony and I post weekly videos on bullet journaling, productivity and pretty much anything creative in between. Now I do have a bit of an announcement and that is that I am going to be changing up the channel name from Simply Divine Creations to Ebony Divine. I just feel like that would suit the vibe of this channel a bit better and it would enable me to bring more relatable content for you all. I actually have another exciting announcement as well and that is that we have reached over 100 subscribers here on this channel which is amazing thank you all so much for subscribing i really appreciate it and it's good to know that you're enjoying this content please if there's anything you want to see from me in the future leave a comment below and i'd be happy to do that but to thank you all for your support i thought i would host a bit of a giveaway so I'm going to be giving away this bullet journal starter kit, another one, I gave one away for my 50 subscriber milestone as well. So I have another bullet journal starter kit here. Some post-it notes, which I just think are absolutely adorable. And this mini stationery kit from Kiki K, which has like a little mini stapler and tape and some clips. And I just think it's absolutely adorable. So hopefully you will like it too. Okay. Sorry if my glasses look a little bit weird at the moment. I just had to take my dog outside to go to the bathroom. Of course, she demands on going as soon as I start recording. Um, so my glasses automatically tint because of sunlight. They're the transition lenses. So just bear with me on that. They should go back to normal as I'm recording. But as I was saying, to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, make sure you like this video and you comment on this video. The comment could be anything. Tell me your favorite quote, your favorite color, your favorite animal. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I don't care. Any comment on this video will be entered into the draw. And now for what this video is actually about. So you could probably tell from the title of this video, but I'm actually so excited for this video as it is a collaboration with Sammy from Sammy Says Create. If you don't know Sammy already, she does amazing DIY. She does a lot of sewing, which I am just in awe of because I have no idea how to use a sewing machine, but I would love to one day. So I love watching her videos to sort of learn the tips and tricks and the ins and outs of everything but she's also done a lot of other crafty fun things on her channel as well so definitely make sure you go check her channel out i'll leave a link in the description box below but we decided to partner up and go shopping for each other in our respective countries so sammy's in the uk i'm in australia and then send each other any crafty goodies we could find to then challenge each other to make whatever we could think of out of the supplies that we sent each other. So the first portion of this video is me unboxing everything for the first time that so I hadn't actually seen anything or had no idea what I was getting so that was really exciting and then the second portion is actually the crafts and the things that I came up with to create with the items. So like I said I had a lot of fun creating this video and without further ado let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into opening up the package and doing a little unboxing. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what she's picked out. Sorry if you can hear some noises there. It's just my dog, Sooty, coming in to investigate my office. Oh, I'm so excited to open this up. Oh wow, this looks like lots of fun stuff. So I might move this to the floor. And let's have a look. Oh wow, first up we've got this gorgeous paper. Oh my gosh, look at the detailing on this. This is so beautiful. Oh, 
Wow, I could definitely see this making such a great thing for a bullet journal month, but that's not what I'm supposed to be doing with these, so we'll put that to the side. What else have we got in here? Oh wow, an adorable little chest. Oh, and there's things in here. Oh wow, some beautiful little charms. Let's give you a close up look of these little charms. Oh, gosh, they are gorgeous. Ooh, and some red ribbon. Before pink was my favorite color, my favorite color is actually red. So this is really fitting. I don't even think Sammy knew that. <laughs> okay, put those to the side. This is like Christmas has come early. It's so exciting. <gasps> Beautiful scrapbook paper. Oh wow, look at the floral designs. Gorgeous. I feel like this vintage look would look great on that chest. I wonder if I could cover that chest with this paper. We'll see. I've grabbed a couple of things here. Oh, some more beautiful. Oh, it's shiny when I move it. That's really cool. You can see it in the light. Oh, some beautiful leaf embellishments. The detailing on these, I think they're have they actually been like crocheted or something? That's so cool. Oh, and some beautiful glittery butterflies. Ah, oh. uh -uh. sweetie. <laughs> My dog has come over to try and help me unbox. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh my God, she's got, oh my God, she's got our flags. Oh, I'm trying to open this nicely so then I can potentially use this ribbon too. <laughs> oh, some chocolate. And caramel. I don't think Sammy even knew this either, but caramel is actually my favorite chocolate too. Wow, thank you so much, Sammy. Oh, this is so beautiful, the card that she's made. So for those of you that don't know, Sammy's actually from the UK and I am from Australia. So this is a bit of a cross-country craft exchange. And this is so gorgeous. That's so lovely. Oh my gosh, Mod Fudge. <laughs> so we don't actually have this in Australia. It's really hard to find. And Sammy did ask me about that, but this, I am so excited that I actually have some Mod Fudge of my own to use now. Thank you so much, Sammy. Oh, some more textured uh, paper, I believe this is. Oh cool, you can use the Mod Podge to cover things with it. Oh, maybe I can use this to cover the chest and then use the vintage paper on the inside. Oh, I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful design too. And glitter. Who doesn't love glitter? Ah, glitter's always so much fun to craft with. And I believe Sammy's actually got a few videos on her channel. I do remember watching how she upcycled a pair of um, shoes and she used glitter for that as well and they look so amazing so you definitely should go check that out I'll link it in the description below oh some beautiful jewelry cords so I could use those charms maybe to make some lovely handmade jewelry oh that would be fun oh. one more this sounds a bit delicate so I'll be careful Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is 
there's an E in there for Ebony. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's amazing. Oh, these are, I think these are tea light holders. Ah, oh, I have actually really wanted these and they're ceramic too. I did, you probably can't tell on camera, but they're actually made of ceramic. Oh, I could definitely do some really great stuff with these. Oh, a little mini easel. I love these things. Every time I see them in the shops, I'm always like, oh, I should really get one of those and do something because they are just so adorable. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm excited to use that. And last but not least, a beautiful ceramic coaster, I believe this might be. Yep, ceramic unglazed coaster, which is actually really funny. I don't know if Sammy's received my package yet, but I actually sent her some coasters as well. So there you go, great minds think alike. <laughs> So first off, I decided to start with the coaster. I had a pretty clear idea of what I wanted to do with it as soon as I unboxed it and figured that was a good place to start. Because it is a round coaster, I thought it would look really cute if I painted a yin and yang design on the coaster. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was simple and easy to do, but it still looks really effective. So yeah, I really like it. After priming the coaster with white paint and then doing two coats of my black paint on top, I then sealed it all in with my new Mod Podge. struggled with what I wanted to do with this beautiful detailed peacock feather paper as everything I thought of I just felt like it didn't justify like the paper is just so beautiful it needed to sort of feature on its own I didn't want to be cutting it into smaller strips or anything like that where you couldn't get the full pattern so what I ended up deciding to do was actually cover the mini canvas in this pattern and that way I can feature that beautiful design and it's its own display decor item in and of itself. And I do actually have some of this paper left over now so I'm thinking I may actually use it as a bullet journal theme in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you think that would be a good idea and you'd like to see that too.
is the E. I absolutely love this. I think it's adorable and I've actually got it sitting on my desk right where I can see while I'm editing and it just makes me so happy. So thank you so much Sammy for this one. I really do love it. But I ended up deciding to cover it in some of that beautiful pink scrap paper and then I put a layer of glitter on top, of course pink glitter, on top of the scrap paper to really make it pop. Once that was all dry, I then stuck on one of those gorgeous little pink butterfly embellishments up into the top corner and I really love how this turned out. Like I said, it's sitting on my desk and I love it. <music> Moving on to the beautiful tea light candle holders that were made of ceramic. So unfortunately when I did open up the package, the middle candle, so there was three in this set, but the middle one had actually a broken so I did have to throw that out. But there were still two that are perfectly fine. I was sort of channeling more of a boho vibe with these ones I think. Initially I wanted the paint to be a little bit more beige, it did turn out more yellow than I initially wanted but now that I've seen it finished I do actually really like it so I painted the candles beige and then using some leftover macrame cord I just spun that around the bottom and hot glued it in place and sealed it in with some Mod Podge and I really like how they turned out which I think I've said for pretty much everything in this video so far but it's true I really do like how they turned out <laughs> Last but not least, the cute little chest. So I already knew when I was unboxing that I wanted to cover it with something, whether it be the scrap paper or the decoupage patch. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> um, so I did end up going with the decoupage patch. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. Let me know in the comments below if I'm not. Um, so I covered the outside of the chest with that and I painted the inside this beautiful dark olive green, which matched perfectly with one of the scrapbook papers in that little scrapbook book that scrapbook book oh that sounded funny uh, that Sammy sent me so I cut that to size and glued it in the bottom I did end up deciding to take apart the chest once I had already painted the inside when I went to start actually covering it with the beautiful paper it made my life so much easier and I wish I'd thought to do that beforehand but you know you live and you learn and you'll notice that I did end up painting the sides of the top of the chest black I did that because I was running out of daylight as I was filming and I just didn't have time to wait for it all to dry and then do the sides as well. So I went with painting it black but I figured this way I can always add the paper on over the top of the black paint if I decide I want that but I'm okay with it as it is right now.
I am realizing I put the front latch on backwards, so that was fun. I had to take that off and put it back on again, but we got there in the end. And I think this chest is adorable. I think it'd be a really great place to keep some of my smaller bullet journal supplies or just general crafting supplies, just keep them all neatly and tucked away. And I also added on those beautiful leaf embellishments onto the front of the chest. I just felt like they looked like they were angel wings coming from the middle. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I just thought they added a nice touch to the chest. And that's it for this video. I did unbox some really beautiful jewellery, cord and charms as well, but it just would have made this video way too long for me to include that as well. So I'm thinking I'll probably do a separate video and I might do more than just those charms and cords. Like I might add in some other beading supplies that I have on hand as well and make it a jewellery making video. Let me know if you'd like to see that from me in the comments below, but I'm thinking that could be fun. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and also hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks!